I've had my Bamboo Labs X1 and X1 Carbon for roughly about a year now, and so far, I'm loving these printers. These printers are fast, they are reliable, and so far, I've only had to do maintenance just one time throughout the entire year for both of these printers. But of course, there will always be that one thing we could change or add about these printers, and one thing I really wish this printer had was some sort of a compartment or some sort of slot where we could put some of the tools and essentials for this printer inside the printer itself, either on the sides or somewhere we can mount it on the outside or somewhere specifically where we can put the scraper and all these other things. Now, when I purchased this printer, all the accessories came in this box that essentially housed all the components and tools in some sort of foam casing. And I threw away that foam casing a while ago, but I've had most of my accessories in that box and it works, but it takes up a lot of space. And honestly, I'd rather just have it in some sort of designated spot rather than just this big chunky box that just sitting somewhere in the corner of the room, especially since I'm the type of person to have my tools scattered around the room. One moment it's on top of my printer, the next it's on my desk, and then suddenly it's nowhere to be found. So I thought, what if instead we can create something or 3D print something where we can mount these tools specifically to its designated slot rather than just placing it anywhere. So with that said, I thought deeply as to where we can mount some of the essential tools for the 3D printer. And I noticed that the front of the LCD screen has a whole bunch of open space around it. Like there is nothing to the left, to the top, to the right, to the bottom. And the only thing we need to worry about is the hinge that sits on the back of it. Even better is that this hinge on the back feels strong and rigid to the point where it feels like it can fit some sort of face plate. So with that being said, I got to work. First step, removing the LCD screen. Second step, taking measurements. Now, I know for most of you, you'll probably want to start modeling right away. But personally, for me, I like to take measurements and create some sketches for the designs I plan to make. This is more so so I have a canvas to work with and some sort of reference points in case I need to change or make changes later on, especially if you're making prototypes for different products or projects. And more so, it makes it easier when it comes to modeling when you have a final sketch in mind. And now that we have our sketch, let's get to modeling. From here, we're pretty much done with our design. The next step is to send this off to print and see the final result. So here is the final design. This is a 3D printed faceplate for the Bamboo Labs X1 and X1 Carbon. I had printed this with PLA carbon fiber, which is this green carbon fiber. I also had printed it in a gray PLA carbon fiber, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Like You can tell all the details in this. Um, come out you, you could really you can't really tell this was 3d printed unless you look close enough i also had ironing the ironing feature turned on so you don't see that layer lines where most of the tools sit in additionally i did use some of the higher quality settings in order to make sure that you don't see any layer lines from the sides as well and additionally pla carbon fiber works really well at hiding those layer lines as well on the sides so overall this turned out pretty well some of the main features with this design is that it is lightweight coming at around 75 grams this is very light and essentially what i really thought about is the fact that since this lcd screen is going to be holding some of these tools some of these tools are going to be adding some more weight to this thing so we need to make sure that this thing is lightweight 
overall. So I printed this, I printed this with a 0.4 nozzle and roughly came to around 75 grams total weight. So it's not that bad. One additional feature that I really like about this is the backside, which holds the Allen and keys for this design here. And from here, you can actually place three sizes of Allen keys since this printer on the back uses uh, screws specifically for those Allen keys. And you will need to use this at some point if you ever need to change something in the back or maybe the fan goes out or whatever it could be. Additionally, if you guys are interested in the design, there'll be a link down below in the description. Originally, this video was supposed to be a tutorial for this design, but I kind of switched it up last minute. Now I might be making that tutorial in a separate video so you guys can learn how to make it yourself. And additionally, if you guys want to change some of these parts and pieces, or maybe you want to put a completely different set of tools, then that tutorial will help you out as I'm going to provide the exact dimensions and all the resources for that video in a separate video. So with that said, like I said, if you guys are interested in the file, there'll be a link down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts, comments, and opinions, as well as any feedback on this design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to support the channel, there'll be a link down below with links to my STL files and my programs. So with that said, this is Brandon signing out. Take care.